So if you've been having weird dreams, and I thought I'd take this video because I have a background in lucid dreaming. Uh, I run the channel House of Lucid and I teach how to lucid dream to uh, people all around the world. So if you've been having like the same dream or a dream about the same kind of person, uh, and this is specifically if you've not met your twin flame or if you don't think you've met your twin flame, but it can also apply if you have already met your twin flame, uh, but maybe you've not reunited yet. So. This will typically happen when your third eye is kind of open and when you have that communication between your third eye, your consciousness here in this 3D reality, and your higher self and your higher consciousness in the fourth and fifth dimensions and so on. And so what will happen is you'll start having more and more regular dreams about your twin flame. And you might be thinking, what on earth do they mean? Why am I having these random dreams about the same person over and over again? And of course, if you've met your twin flame and you know they are your flame, then you kind of know a bit more about it, you know why, and you have more of an understanding. Most people will actually have these dreams and they will not know why they're having them. They'll have no idea why they're having the same dream again about the same person. So I just wanted to explain, if you are having the same dream where you see this girl or guy and you don't know what it means, just know that it doesn't have to mean anything in particular. It's more just like they're trying to communicate or establish a connection with you, either unconsciously or consciously. So explore that and use it to sort of have that communication with them. If you're not physically with them, if you're not reunited and you're not in union yet, then the dream space is a really good place to actually have that connection and have those experiences because it's sort of like supports you and lets you know that you're there for each other, at least on some dimension and in some way. Now, really important things to bear in mind here, you need to write down your dreams. Uh, and if you have the same dream or this about the same person, try and give them like a name, even if you've not met them yet, just say twin flame or say, give them a name, for example. And this means that when you write your dreams down and when you then later type your dreams up into a dream journal on your computer, uh, which I would recommend doing if you wanna lose a dream, uh, you can then use that because you've given them a name, you can search through that and see all of the dreams where you had a dream about the twin flame about your twin flame. And this will let you, A, become lucid more often because it becomes a dream sign. Uh, but secondly, it will help you see how often you're dreaming about them and what the dreams really mean. So in a nutshell, don't be scared or worried. If you're having the same dream about a person, even if you've not met them yet, then it's likely your twin flame is just trying to establish some kind of communication and contact with you, either consciously or unconsciously. Remember, they might not be aware that they're doing that. They might just be having the same weird dreams and they might be just as confused as you, wondering why am I dreaming about this person I've never met? And then when you meet, you'll eventually click the two pieces together and realize, oh, of course we were dreaming about each other. Now, this can also be experienced if you have met your twin flame, but you're not in union. Let's say if you run into them once and you just can't get them out of your head, uh, both in the daytime and also in the nighttime in your dreams. You might be thinking, why do I keep dreaming about this person? Well, if you have ran into someone that you felt like you've known before and you keep having dreams about them over and over again, it's likely they're your twin flame. So if you have any way of contacting them, try and just say hi, say how are you doing. If you don't, then don't panic, okay? They're gonna be brought back to you anyway. So just use the dream as another way of establishing communication with them. So I hope that makes sense. I'd really love to hear what your opinions are about dreams and twin flames. So yeah, leave a comment below and I'll try and reply to all of them.